So you're a professional blogger. That's yeah. interesting. Professional. Uh huh. So uh, <laughs> who are you? I'm Paul Beckman. I'm with DSP Concepts, and we're a ARM third party that specializes in embedded audio processing. So you hear the ARM booth. That's right. What are you showing off? What we're showing off is we're showing off integration between MathWorks Simulink and the ARM Synthesis Library. What is that? So the Synthesis Library is, a, is an optimized library of DSP functions that's uh, written for the Cortex M4 processor. And so Simulink is a design environment for uh, you know, graphically designing signal processing. And so what we're showing here is you can graphically design uh, in Simulink and then when you generate code, it generates not only C code, but it includes the optimized libraries from the Cortex, uh, Sims, from the M4 Simpsons library. And so you get optimized DSP code running down on your uh, embedded processor. Optimized DSP code. So what, what happens? Like uh, some conversions are happening or what do you do? Right. So in the demo here, we're doing a real-time audio demo. So we have real-time audio into the product over USB. Yeah, so the microphone's there. We're so doing, yep. And so uh, what is this? Yeah, so this is an, an ST development board. And so there's a Cortex M4 processor. And so the audio is coming in from the PC over USB. We're doing a bunch of filtering down on the M4 and then sending the audio out over analog to the speakers. So there's uh, music coming out here. Right. And so this block diagram yeah. is being turned into C code. And that C code is using the optimized libraries from the M4. And you can see each of these functions is one of the Simpsons DSP libraries. And so when you build and run it, you get the efficient optimized code down on the M4. Cool. So your company, uh, since when does it exist? Yeah, so DSP Concepts, we've been doing consulting for about 10 years. And we've really been getting heavily involved in the ARM ecosystem the past three years. Why? Uh, we basically see the potential for doing audio processing on the ARM processor. We've traditionally done DSPs. And so, Shark, you know, Texas Instruments DSPs. And what we saw is we saw the potential on the M4 for doing, say, stereo products, and for the Cortex-A doing higher-end multi-channel products. So it's higher-end, multi-channel, is better, more features, what, what is it? Right, so it would be, for example, a home theater system, where instead of two channels you have five or seven speakers, or an automotive system where you have you know, six or you know, 10 or 12 speakers. You can do that on a Cortex-A processor. So how does audio work? Uh, yes, so audio is fairly demanding because you have data coming in at a high sample rate, 44.1 or 48 kilohertz, and so you've got to process it in real time. Otherwise, there's going to be pops and clicks. Real time is really important. Does that mean that the audio should be prioritized over all the other stuff? That's right. So audio is actually more important, I would say, than the video, because if you're running behind on video, you drop a frame, and then you know the customer doesn't really notice it. If you drop one sample of audio, you're going to get a pop, and they're going to notice it. And uh, this is most important in when I do my videos. People should hear right. what's going on. That's right. Uh, so does that mean that uh, the code is more important, too, than all the other stuff? Well, it, I guess the importance is it has to be optimized. So it's got to be running efficiently. And so that's where you know, a lot of our expertise is optim optimizing for the M4 or the Cortex-A. How do you optimize? Uh -huh. How do you do? So How it's a combination work? of software optimization, so you have to know the instructions of the processor, and also mathematical oper optimization. So you have to know what's the algorithm you're doing, what are the important parts of it, and are there other ways of doing the algorithm. All right, so what's going to happen in the future? So in the future, uh, so we focus on audio, but really this, this, the bigger specialty is digital signal processing. So there's more and more applications where there's sensors, maybe there's medical devices, instrumentation, all those uh, applications have sensors, and whenever there's sensors, there's sample data, there's filtering, there's noise removal, and you need DSP and optimized algorithms. 